Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my flatmates. You guys, you guys know these guys by now. But we are here, as you can see in front of us, there is Kiwi snacks. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna rate them and put them on a tier list. This was a trend like two years ago. We're late to the trend. We're here to determine the best Kiwi snack. We obviously haven't got all of them in front of us because uh, we're students on a budget and we don't wanna be throwing up after this. We've got 10 different foods here. I think it's 10. And we're gonna go through one by one, explain what they are for those of you not from New Zealand and then eat it, rate it, and go from there. But the thing is, we've already discussed and realized that we don't all like the same stuff, so this is, there's gonna be a bit of debating taking place. So the rules are, we're gonna take it, we're gonna eat it, and then we'll do like a countdown, and then we have to show with our hands what we personally rate it, and then we'll discuss where it goes on the tier list. Wait, okay. so we're rating it in numbers? We'll do it out of five. Are we all clear yep. of yes. what's taking place? So all five right. is the best, one yep. is the worst. Yes. yes. We're starting with a hundreds and thousands cookies. So this is called a hundreds and thousands cookie and it's basically just like a biscuit that's covered in pink icing with sprinkles on it. Okay, right, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to eat it fast. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. It's like that kid I feel like that's like talented at primary school and then they get to intermediate and then they're just average. Like, I think okay. it's Why like- Why did you just call me out? <laughs> it's like, it's got like a balance of like the savory of like the biscuit, like the crunch, but then like the sweetness of the icing and the sprinkles. Next up, we have squiggles. So a squiggle is a biscuit that's covered in chocolate, but on top of the biscuit, there's, what is it like, hokey pokey caramel filling. Mm. These are not how I remember them tasting. Oh, As a yeah. kid, so I used to eat it on the edges. I love it. And I'm about to do that. Thing. And then take the top off. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Thousands, I think. Oh, yeah. I think they have to go big. Next up, we have the Shrewsbury. Oh, the Heart for you. Yay. Star for you. Star for you. Oh, for you. Oh. I get a circle. So Shrewsbury is like two biscuits that are like wedged together with like jam in the middle and they each have different designs on I think you need to explain it before you end it up. Because <laughs> I was like oh, oh, three oh. times. Tyra and I have gone to eat it. These biscuits were like a last resort in my house. They would always be the last thing. Three, two, one. That's a B. Yep, I reckon it's almost a C. But like it's the C. Front. They're not bad, they're just too dry, and they're always the last resort. It's sad to say. But and this, if you get a soft one, like they were always the one that was left in the biscuit container. Yeah, I feel like the biscuits aren't And they're, they're hard. soft, and yeah. they just kind of taste a little stale. Right. Next up, we have iced animals. I will explain <gasps> before we hand out. If you grew up in New Zealand, these were like a party treat. My mum would never buy these unless it was a party because they're so expensive. They're like different animals. So it's a biscuit on one side that looks like an animal and then it's iced on the other. Why well, it's called iced animal. You get a sheep, you get a lion. Oh, you can have a lion too actually. Oh, and you can look at it. Ah. Looks like a hippo. Hey, Dylan is a hippo. That's and like his... I've got a beer. I think the reason why I like these is the memories that are yeah. behind it. Three, two, one. So, ice animals, we're gonna agree that they're a B. Gonna put them in next to the squirrels. Next up, we have the explorers, which are formerly known as Eskimos. They're basically like, they're kind of like a, I'm not gonna say marshmallow, they're like more sugary. They're, they're like soft, soft, powdered. soft powdered lollies. They're just soft, you know, when you want something soft, not chewy. Right. Mm. Soft. Mm -hmm. mm. Three, two, one. Laura's going no. down and see. Next up, we have a pinky bar, which uh, they wouldn't be my go tos. I don't actually know what they are. I think they're pink marshmallow with caramel covered in chocolate. Is yep. it? Yep, you're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, they're going to see. You guys are actually special. know you have it because Joel. Hundreds and thousands are at the top right now. Oh! Sorry, the next one is the best. Sherbet sure, fizz. Do you have so any of them good? Yeah, I have a whole stick left. So these are like licorice and in the middle is like a sherbet like, it's not like sherbet but it's not powdery. It's just sour. Three, Sorry. two, one. So, sherbet fizz is going as B. Did, Did we not get pineapple lumps? No, I don't have any. Next up we have Jaffa's. These are oh, classic. Yeah. You guys can eat as I explain, but it's basically a chocolate ball coated in like a crunchy orange coating. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. You may use it a five, eh? Yeah. Did you really? Wow. We need new flatmates. I think we do as well. Next up, we have Perky Nanas, which is like a. It's, it's a, a picky bar, but banana flavor. Yeah, banana flavored marshmallow. Three, two, one. 
Three, two, one. Mm, this is looking not very good for the S and the D. Next up we have Jelly Tip Chocolate. So this is a Whitaker's classic. It's like a top deck chocolate. So it's got milk chocolate. Excuse me, no talking in the background. You're distracting me from my teaching. It's like a top deck chocolate. So it's milk chocolate and the top of it's white chocolate. And in the middle is like jelly. jelly but it's jam. But like it's, it's, it's syrup. Jelly tip consistency. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, collectively agreed that, not the perky nana, the jelly tip is going in the superb column on its own. All right, I think we need to move something down. I feel like we all collectively agree that pink, like a perky nana. No, pinky bars are so good. Pinky, pinky that's the old one out. I'd be happy if Explorers or Pinky went down. Explorers. No, um, not Pinky. pinky. Yeah, those two that really liked. Pinky. I think but Explorers. Is turkey, no, no. Yeah, Explorers gets rated quite low. Should we just agree that New Zealand doesn't have bad snacks? <laughs> we do. Actually, no. Iced animals no. literally exist. I think we should settle that there's no D. I think yeah. we should. I think I we should, should as well. Should. Considering I was not actually going to put that's a D column good. on here, yeah, but then I did good, last yeah. minute. To confirm, <laughs> Jelly Tip is our favourite snack, Kiwi snack. Right, collect. Like, uh, well, we're. We were it wasn't mutual, but should we go around and say ramen? Yeah, should we each say what one's yeah, our yeah. personal favorite? Yeah. All right, Rachel, you can start. Squiggles. Mine's Jeffers. Squiggles and the sherbet. Well, it's hundreds and thousands of the jelly tip. Mm. Jeffers, Pinky, and the jelly tip. And what's mm. your guys' least favorite? Oh, <laughs> I love it. How Pinky? Um, oh, I would have to Jeffers by far. I can see your reflection coming around my shoulder on this computer screen. What? Did you just say Pinky? Mm, Pinky's my least favourite. I would say Perky Banana. But iced animals have a special place. In the discontinued shelf. Probably a tie between Perky Nana and Explorers. How do we give iced animals to kids? No. We all love it. No one, like, but still. You're the only one that doesn't like iced animals. I mean, I don't... Alright. Well, anyway, I can see that this argument is going to continue long after this video has been finished filming. <laughs> Why do you like that? Um, Alright, well this concludes this video. If you would like to be our fifth flatmate, please leave your details down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you guys like this video, please leave a comment down below telling us your favourite Kiwi snack if you're from New Zealand. Or if you're not from New Zealand, let us know what you think Like you're curious to try. If this gets good feedback, we might come back and do another take on this, but do more like classic party food. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and we'll see you in my next video. I can't reach it. It's your thank you. Stop it. <laughs>